renewable energy worldwide has faced challenges, which is a triad, really about cost, about variability, and location-specific nature of most renewable energy. These concerns exist in India, but we have additional problems because of a weaker grid, one that is, unfortunately, has a lot of load shedding, and also because our peak demand is mostly in the evening. So, unfortunately, the sun is not very bright at 7 p.m. So, as we consider renewables, we have to really ask, what is the problem we're solving? So, today, in the Indian context, the easier answer is it solves an energy problem, but it doesn't fully help our capacity problem, which is one difference between us and many other countries which have ambitious or aggressive renewable energy programs. So what do we need to make this better from a grid perspective? One of the first things needed is better signaling for the grid. So that means better pricing, more granular pricing, time of day pricing, and things like this that will really value power more precisely in terms of its grid impacts if you add a unit or take away a unit. And one of these things that the book talks about is ancillary services, which are new systems not just delivering power, but delivering the ability to keep the grid stable, ramping up and ramping down, because that really addresses the core of one of the challenges, which is the variability and non-controllability of renewable power. One of the questions that people ask worldwide, how much RE, renewable energy, can the grid handle? We're not trying to come up with a number. It's a more involved exercise to actually try and quantify that. But the short takeaway is, it depends. It depends on what the rest of your grid looks like. What do you have that can come in very quickly? So do you have fast acting generators like hydro or open cycle gas turbines? These are the things that also matter. How big are your transmission lines and where? So the answer to the it depends is something we begin to address in this volume. The good news is the answer is also a lot. It's not as if we're anywhere near a fundamental problem in terms of the grid handling renewables, but it takes investment, effort, and planning to actually make it happen sustainably.